Hey Z Stars, what's good in the hood? It's your girl FXR and I'm back with another video. Now today I'm here to bring you all my third and final for now installment of answering all of your questions about hair grease. I'm super excited to share this information with you and I really just can't wait to get right into this content. Now before we do, I actually have a special announcement for you all. I'm really excited to share this. If you're new here, you may not be familiar with my community tab, but if you've been here for a while, I'm sure that you've engaged with me via that section of YouTube as well. Now I had a poll recently asking you all whether or not you think I should start a new channel for my photography, videography, etc. content and many of you actually said that you feel I should put it on this channel. Now I feel this channel is already quite full and I don't think that that content suits everyone on this channel. So I actually decided to start a new channel which I'm going to link in the cards and that channel is titled FXR Art. Now at 2500 subscribers I'm going to drop my first video. I've already started filming content for you all and I'm super excited. I really can't wait to share with you my self-portrait tips and tricks, my beautiful photography retouching tips and tricks, my editing style, etc, etc, etc. Now people have been asking me for a while and even though I'm fairly new to photography, I feel that it's the right time to do this and bring you along on this journey with me. Now with all of that being said, please be sure to subscribe to that channel. And that short digression aside, let's get right back into our regularly scheduled content. But of course, before we do, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy this type of content. Please be sure to comment down below, share your thoughts with me, ask more questions. This is a forum where we can help each other grow together, grow Rapunzel hair and whatnot. <laughs> Please be sure to share this video with your friends and your loved ones and last but can never ever be least. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know every time I post a new video. So I'm going to give you a few moments to subscribe while we listen to the stylings of Jeopardy. Okay, that should be more than enough time. Now, without any further ado, let's get right into this video. If you're not already, be sure to follow me on Instagram at fxzara, E-F-I-K-Z-A-R-A. I post a lot of my photography there and of course behind the scenes on how I get my iconic imagery. Be sure to also follow me on Twitter at fxzara so you can chat to me and ask me all the questions your heart desires. I try to answer my DMs as much as possible and any tweets I reply to, so that's the best place to reach me. Wear the sulfurate vid. Now you see, that video actually took much longer than expected. The reason is because I actually decided to make it a proper production for you all. So be sure to check it out in the cards right above. It's going to be linked right there and make sure you watch it after watching this video or before either one really it's fine as long as you watch both of the videos. But thank you for being so patient with me. I love and sincerely appreciate you all. I use Blue Magic Coconut Oil Grease because in my opinion, it smells better. But I noticed that the blue and green Blue Magic have more ingredients. Should I be using one of those instead for my 4A, 4C hair? That's actually a great question. Personally, I do not feel that you need to use either the blue or green Blue Magic for your 4A, 4C hair. If the Coconut Oil Grease by Blue Magic is working for you, stick to that. And personally, sometimes the less ingredients, the better. If your scalp is especially sensitive, you want to use products that have a shorter ingredient list and contain ingredients that are not irritating. So I think it's fine, stick to that product. You don't need to use something because it has more ingredients. I would actually advise against using something that has more ingredients unless those ingredients are active and or safe. I got Blue Magic, but I got Blue Magic hair food. Is there a difference? Should I have gotten the original one? Blue Magic has many greases. Which one y'all recommend? Now this is actually a great question. They have a bazillion and one greases. So I'm gonna need the help of the audience to answer this particular question. Please y'all comment down below. Let me know which Blue Magic hair grease you like to use. Help our sister out, please. Please, dears. Now for me, you can view all of my favorite Blue Magic greases in my hair products video, which I'm going to link in the top. Be sure to open it up in a new window so you can watch it following this video. 
I heard sulfur 8 is really good, but the scent is so strong. People can smell it in public places and it works. Is there a way to mask the smell or is there an unscented version? Is there a grease that has little to no smell? Okay, so this is actually a great question because obviously I'm a huge stan of sulfur 8 and you all can check out my modified sulfur 8 in the cards. Now when it comes to there being a way to mask the scent, ultimately I think very fragranced products tend to mask the scent of sulfur 8. I personally don't really have an issue with the smell, so I'm probably not the best authority on that. I just like, hey, you're gonna live with it whether you like it or not, period. If it's helping my scalp, it's helping my scalp. However, there is a light alternative that is more mildly scented, if I'm not mistaken. So you can check that out. I'm going to link it in the description box down below. Now, as far as a grease that has little to no smell, I think the only grease that has little to no smell is Vaseline, which is ultimately pure petroleum jelly. So it is what it is. If you want a grease that doesn't have a scent, Vaseline is the way to go. Has anyone tried Sulfur 8 Do Grow and JBCO? Does it actually grow hair? Now for the Sulfur 8, the primary reasons why it can be considered a growth aid are the presence of the menthol and the sulfur. Now sulfur is one of the building blocks of life. It's essential to hair, skin, nails, everything. <laughs> If you actually want to accelerate the rate of your hair growth, topical sulfur as well as internal sulfur are aids to that. As far as Jamaican black castor oil, anecdotal evidence supports the theory that it does accelerate hair growth. There are a lot of people who have reported increased hair growth as a result of topical application of Jamaican black castor oil. With the do grow, I'd have to look into the ingredients to see how exactly that contributes to the growth or stimulation of the scalp and the hair. But ultimately, I do believe that this mixture could increase blood flow to the scalp as well is potentially provide the scalp with nutrients that are necessary for a thriving growth environment. So hey, you really have nothing to lose. It's worth a shot. Let us know how it goes if you want me to try it. In fact, be sure to drop a red emoji down below. So for this Ducro JBCO and Sulfur 8 challenge, I knew I had to look into the ingredients for the Ducro because I've always remembered it being a very long list of ingredients. So upon reading this, I can definitely see that there are ingredients that are going to lend themselves to accelerated hair growth. Avocado oil is extremely rich in oleic acid and monounsaturated fats, so it's one of the few oils that can truly penetrate the hair shaft and nourish the hair. The presence of olive oil with its many antioxidants, the presence of the safflower seed oil with its rich oleic acid content, and a number of the other oils make do grow something that could potentially accelerate hair growth. Now one of my favorite ingredients in the product is the henna and I have a video all about how henna can make your hair thicker and stronger which I'll link in the cards so be sure to check that out and please do your own independent research on the ingredients in this grease. Ducro and Sulfur 8 are mentioned but what do you think of Royal Crown? Now to be very honest, I actually haven't used Royal Crown Grease, so I can't really give you any feedback. This is where I need you all to come in and help me answer this question. What do you think of Royal Crown? Please answer in the comment section down below. My friend uses Virgin Brand Hair Grease. Have you heard about it? Is it good? I haven't heard about it actually, so let's cut to another screen to talk about it and what I think it could do for the hair. I'm seeing here that there are two popular virgin hair products, the most popular one being the virgin hair fertilizer and then another one called virgin hair food. Now with the virgin hair fertilizer, the ingredients are herbal extract, petroleum jelly, peppermint oil, lanolin, and fragrance. Now it would be nice if we knew exactly what the herbal extract consists of, but I don't know that we're going to get that information anytime soon. But when there is fragrance, there is the potential of sensitivity regardless of how non-reactive it is. Now I personally really like the petroleum jelly, the peppermint oil, and the lanolin. These are three fantastic ingredients for lubricating the scalp and stimulating hair growth. Now let's move on to the virgin hair food. It has a similar ingredients list. Now the ingredients that we're adding are the menthol, the shea butter. Personally I love menthol. It makes my scalp feel really really nice and obviously is going to stimulate growth. Do anyone else know about La India? That grease was the one hands down. Just can't find it anywhere anymore. 
Personally, I've never heard of that grease. Again, I can do some research about it to let you all know more about it. But if you have heard of it, please comment down below. Help our sis out, y'all, and let her know where you can find it. Please and thank you. I love this video. I want to give a mixture of hair grease a try. Any suggestions on which hair grease to use? Now you could just use the greases that I already use and those greases are Sulfur 8, Dugrow, and Blue Magic. Now again, I've included the exact types I use in my hair products video, which is already linked in the cards, y'all. So go and check that out. I don't think you need to do too much. It's best to keep things quite simple. Therefore, I limit my grease usage ultimately to Sulfur 8 on my scalp and Blue Magic or Dugrow on the ends of my hair and or the shaft. What are the best greases to use on me and my eight-year-old? What's also good for an infant's hair? The back of her hair gets really dry and brittle. Man, I don't know. Dry scalp runs in my family, especially dandruff. Please help. Now I think that sulfurate is phenomenal and I recommend it over pretty much any grease for the scalp, especially if you suffer from fungal issues, dryness, and or itchiness. Now the reason why I've mentioned those three things is because with itchiness and fungal growth in particular, both of them are the result of some sort of an imbalance that results in fungal overgrowth, right? Now with dryness, that could ultimately be a product of minimal sebum production in your scalp, which is genetic at times. Other times that could denote an underlying condition. So make sure that you're eating properly, eating plenty of omega-3, eating a rich diet that consists of whole foods. If you're doing those things and your scalp still doesn't produce a lot of sebum, it just means that naturally your scalp is drier and you should probably aid scalp moisture by using a sealant like grease. For you and your eight-year-old, again, I highly recommend Sulfur 8. Now for your infant, I don't think it's advisable to use hair products that have a lot of ingredients. So I think it's safer to just go with good old Vaseline. Make sure it's the purest Vaseline you can get. <laughs> and then of course you should be shampooing with something strong enough to actually cleanse the baby's hair properly, but mild enough to prevent dryness, any exacerbation of dryness and any kind of irritation. So for a baby, I would recommend diluted Castile soap that's unscented. All of these things are actually, again, in my product video, which you all can check out. And I'll put those things in particular in the description box down below. Now to address the dandruff and really tackle it ultimately to death. <laughs> I think that another thing you might consider doing is using an antifungal shampoo. Now my personal favorite is Nizarel. I use it pretty much every wash day because I really cannot come and kill myself. I can't afford the struggle. And I think that that's something, again, you might consider adding to your own regimen, but I would not recommend using that on an infant. And please consult your physician before using it on yourself even, since it is medicated. My hair used to look like yours when I was a kid and my mom used Sulfur 8 and Soft Sheen. Do you have any other suggestions for people who can't use the ones with coconut oil? I found Soft Sheen and Softy Bergamot don't have coconut oil, but I haven't found anything else. Thank you. I'm glad we're on the same page here about this coconut oil struggle because your girl still hates coconut oil. Like I, I still strongly dislike coconut oil, all the greases I use, which are linked down below, because I can't keep referring you guys to my products video. I feel like that's a bit cumbersome. All of those are sans coconut. And I'm going to see if I can find any other greases that are without coconut so I can put them in the description box down below. But your best bet for a grease that doesn't have anything that's going to make you struggle is Vaseline. And I always recommend this, especially for people with severely sensitive scalps. Can I use any grease on my hair? I mean, you can, but is it advisable? Probably not. I would not advise it. <laughs> I think it's important to observe the kinds of oils, the kinds of ingredients that your hair responds well to so that you can always steer towards them. And of course, be careful to observe the kinds of ingredients that make your hair go haywire so you can steer away from them. With that being said, you should not use any type of grease. For instance, if I use a grease with coconut oil, my hair is going to go into shock. If I use a grease that has protein, my hair is probably going to go into shock. If I use a grease that has jojoba oil, my hair is gonna be like, girl, you tried it. So it's really not advisable. <laughs> What kind of grease do you get and is it available in Nigeria? What leave-in and grease do you use? 
That's a fantastic question because I actually use sulfurate, blue magic, and dugro. Now dugro, I haven't found it in Nigeria. <sighs> But at least I can find sulfate and blue magic and those are the ones I use like primarily. I really can't come and kill myself again. And good old Vaseline when I really feel like using the bare minimum in my hair. But ultimately, I use blue magic and I use sulfur eight primarily. And yes, you can get those in Nigeria. The Shea Moisture Low Porosity Leave-In was my favorite leave-in and they discontinued it. Now I also have a few other favorite leave-ins, but the Shea Moisture one lasts longer. And then my other favorite one, the Kumi Tube one. I don't know if she ships to Nigeria, even if she does. Am I ready to pay that shipping cost? I don't think so. Your girl's trying to be frugal and save that coin. I literally spent a lot of money on gear this past year. Digression aside, I use OB and Natural which I adore because the products are based in science and everything is pH balanced. So for my low porosity hair, it does wonders. If you have high porosity hair, your hair will probably respond very well to those products as well. However, if you have high porosity hair, you want to supplement with products that contain a little sprinkling of protein to ensure that your hair is not over moisturized. So anywho, I also love Can too. Again, my favorite products video. I think this time I need to direct you all there because I feel like a lot of these questions, no, yeah, they're geared towards products. So that's really the best place to see what it is that I use ultimately. As far as the greases, I've already mentioned them. So refer to previous questions and be sure to check out the description box so you can see where to purchase them. How different is hair grease from Vaseline? Like back in the days I was a child, my family member would put Vaseline on my hair and then comb it out. It was a pain. Also, in what moments should I put the hair grease? Like do I use a leave-in slash curling cream first and then put the grease? Help this girl, please. Can you use Vaseline instead of grease or is it the same thing? I'm confused. Is petroleum jelly a good grease product for hair? Vaseline is a hair grease, but hair grease is not necessarily Vaseline. You feel me? What I'm ultimately saying is that Vaseline is made of petroleum jelly and petroleum jelly is the primary component of grease. It can therefore be used as a hair grease and it is the purest type of hair grease. I actually gave a brief history of Vaseline in my truth about grease video, which I'm going to link in the cards to the top. Right, so you all can check that out after you view this video. Now hair grease is different from Vaseline because it has more ingredients, typically. Now there are some hair greases that are literally just like petroleum jelly with some aloe and a little something something else, like some vitamin E, maybe a little smattering of fragrance, but nothing else. So I mean, it's like a scented Vaseline ultimately. The two I think can be used interchangeably. It ultimately depends on how well your hair responds to either. If you notice that your hair and your scalp prefer less ingredients, then go for the Vaseline. If you like the additives, then you might as well go for the grease. Now, as far as placement of your grease, please be sure to watch my regimen video. I explain exactly where you need to place the grease in your hair routine, as well as every other step of the hair routine. Yeah, again, I'm gonna link that in the card. You can check that out after this video. But the short answer is it's a sealant. So you don't want to put it on prior to moisturizing your hair. And there are those people who actually just use water and grease because that's the least irritating option for their hair and their hair still stays moisturized. You might be one of those people, but I am not. So I need to use a moisturizer prior to using my grease. Petroleum jelly is an exceptional grease product for hair because it's so simple and it's one of the least irritating things you can put on your skin. There are literally people that are allergic to water for goodness sake. If people can be allergic to water, you know that like nature is not necessarily the answer. If we want to be technical, petroleum jelly is a natural product because it's a byproduct of the fossil fuel refining process and fossil fuel comes from a natural process within the earth's crust. But ultimately I do feel that petroleum jelly is phenomenal for hair. I think you should use it if you want to. And I might make a video using petroleum jelly and not any other grease product. So let me know if you want that by leaving a a yellow emoji down below. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried for y'all as I typically do. I hope that you enjoyed my calm, chill self. People have been complaining that I'm like too calm or that I'm like monotone. I'm like, fam, I'm literally not monotone. I'm just not extra. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Digression aside, we're at the end of the video. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching y'all with real MVPs. If you've made it this far, don't forget to put a blue emoji down in the comment section below. Let me know you're real. 
Oh gee, you feel me? Be sure to thumbs up this video, comment down below, ask more questions, please answer some of the questions I couldn't answer myself. Share this video with your loved ones and last but again, can never ever, ever, ever be least. Subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you know every time I post a new video. I love you all once again so much. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.